Hello, everybody. This is Paul from Tor Life Ministries. I'm so excited. You know, I talk about this product called uh, Astathantin by this company called Velasta. And I sell a lot of these products because they really do help people. I was just telling uh, our guest today, I wish my dad would take it because he could definitely benefit from him, but some people just won't listen. But uh, this uh, fellow that's on the show today, Jack, has a wonderful testimonial, and I know he's going to have more uh, testimonials, but I want to welcome him to the show and he's going to talk about his experience with Velasta. So hello, Jack. Welcome to the show. Hello, Paul. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. And uh, I, I was so excited to speak to you the other day and hear what you had to say, but I wasn't surprised because I, I hear testimonials from so many people about this product. So can you share your little story about uh, Velaster and your, your health situation? Yeah, well, my health situation is I'm, I'm 64 years old now. And um, a lot of my friends around me are, you know, they're having heart attacks and strokes and cancers and diabetes and everything. And I haven't been to the doctor for seven years. And I thought, well, I've been pretty lucky, but I think I better go in and, you know, just get a physical and blood test and x-rays and everything and get everything checked out. And uh, I had high blood pressure. I knew that before I went in. And so they put me on a little, uh, they put me on a little medicine for that to try to bring that down. And my, uh, what kind of worried me the most was uh, my PSA test came back at 5.2. And at my age, it should be 4, 4.0 is the maximum. And then on my chest x-ray, they found a little bit of opacity, I guess you would call it in my x-ray and a couple little streaks and they wanted me to go um, to get a get a CAT scan, a chest X-ray with, uh, you know, to have have another look at that. But as you know, um, when you start getting involved in the medical things, everything gets expensive real fast. You know, I called the called the hospital just about the CT scan, and uh, they wanted two thousand dollars just to do that, um, and then. From here on my PSA problem, I was, uh, you know, you go to a urologist and, you know, it just goes on and on and on from there. Unfortunately, the, of course, everyone knows the healthcare system is, is very expensive when you start getting involved in it. And I just happened to click on one of your videos and uh, I watched you and the gentleman that developed the Velasta. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyways, he, he seemed like a very, very humble man. And he was very honest about everything. I watched a couple of your, uh, interviews with him. And I remember you asked him a question and he'd say, well, I'm not really sure why this happened or why that happened. And, you know, I felt he was being very honest about everything. And I thought, well, I'm going to give this a try. Uh, what I, what I planned to do was to, uh, go on the cancer protocol with the Velasta. And I'm gonna go uh, probably about a month and a half on this. And then I'm gonna go back in and get another PSA test. I'm gonna keep an eye on my numbers and, and uh, see what happens. So, and also I'll be, I'll probably get another chest X-ray maybe in a few months too and see how I'm doing there. I wanted to, I wanted to give this a try before I did anything else, but uh, another problem I've been having is my knees. I, in the last four or five years, my knees have really went downhill bad. Um, I've had, I've had occasions where I've actually had to make a cane to get to get around for a few days. It, it's one of those deals. I get up in the morning and my, my knees are pretty good shape, but the more I walk, and if I walk a lot or if I walk carrying heavy things, um, anything I do, uh, just the more I go on my knees, the worse it hurts, you know, and it'll get, it would get so bad that <clears throat> when I get ready to sit down in my easy chair, I would just stand up in front of my, my lazy boy and I would just fall backwards into it because I didn't want to bend my knees, you know, and, uh, so anyways, I've been taking this Velasta for a couple of weeks now, 
And um, I've been trying to get some exercise. The doctor told me to get some exercise, you know, and change my diet and everything. I'm trying to, you know, work on my blood pressure thing. So I've been trying to do some walking. So the other day I drove up to a park that's not far from here, close to the lake. And as I pulled into the, uh, to the road that turns off the highway, I, I clicked my odometer on my car and it was four tenths of a mile down to where you park. So I thought, well, I'll, I'm gonna try to walk, you know, four tenths down there and four tenths back and it'll be eight tenths of a mile. You know, I figure that's probably gonna be, that's probably gonna be pushing it for me for one day, you know, but it's been, it's been ice and snow and cold. And it's just hard to get out and do anything up here, you know? Uh, so anyways, I take off down the road and I'm walking down there and I, I see this nature trail and I go look at the sign and it says it's one mile long. And I was thinking, oh my God. I was thinking, well, I guess if it gets too bad, I can call my buddy and have him bring a wheelbarrow and bring me out of there. <laughs> or maybe I can cut a cane and try to get back, you know? But so anyways, I took off down the trail and uh, I actually made it. It's it's a nature trail around the lake. It's up and down hills and, you know, it's. it's it's a rough deal for me, you know, and uh, I made it back to the car and I went back home and I was thinking, you know what? My knees are not even hurting now. And so I called my buddy and I told him and he said, well, let's go. He goes, I know another trail we can go on tomorrow. And he said, it's three miles. And I said, oh my God. I said, there's no way I can walk three miles. And I said, well, I said, I'm going to go, I'm going to go and I'm going to try it. And, uh, or I figured I'll just walk until, you know, because I just walked a whole bunch more the day before, you know, and I thought, man, that's going to be pushing it. So I went ahead and went, and it was, it was a really nature trail around another lake that we're close to, and it was steep up and downs, you know, a lot of rocks and roots and slippery places, and I mean, it's really, really be hard on your knees, you know, and I actually made it the whole three miles and I got home, I still was not hurting. So I was just, and I didn't even get the Velasta for my knees. I just got it for my other problems. But man, when I had, when I was able to go do that for me, uh, that really changed what I can do physically. You know, I like, for example, I burn wood here and I have to get up on the roof a couple of times a year and clean my chimney. And man, I used to just dread that, you know, going up and down the ladder and walking up those steep angles on the roof. And the last I did it, I did it the other day and no problem. I was like, man, this is just so amazing. great. That's amazing. So great. It, it, this works. This works. And you're going to see when you get your blood test back, it works. And you yeah, know, that's what and I'm I really hoping for, Paul. Absolutely. Now, I don't want you to test this, but if you stop taking it, you need your pain in your knees will come back. I don't want you to do yeah. that. I want you to keep taking yeah. it because this works. Uh, I know it works because I hear testimonies like this from a lot of people. Now, did you get your C reactive protein tested when you took your blood test? Well, I don't know. Um, I'd have to look at my, I'd have to look at all my test results and see if that was on there or not. Okay, look at that, because if that's higher, it means you have inflammation somewhere in your body at some point. And you already said your PSA was high, so it could be attributed to that, or maybe arthritis in your knees or something. But after taking this, you'll see how much lower it is. And it's a, it's really amazing. So you can compare those two as well. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was just, uh, I was just totally happy with what happened to my knees. <laughs> yeah, and still no pain, right? Yeah, no. Well, I, I, you know, my knees pop, but I think my, my, I think it's my tendons or my ligaments are so short because I haven't bent my knees in so long. And I've been trying to, I've been trying to stretch those out. I'm, I'm old and I guess they shrink naturally, but um, I've been like, I've been sitting down on the floor and trying to sit my butt on my, on my feet, you know, trying to get yeah. down closer and closer. And, uh, which, which I never would even try before. So, yeah. but, um, you know, we, we get all, we got a young mind and we got an old body and, you know, we want to do, <laughs> we want to do much, the things we much, used to do. <laughs> how much of the Velasta do you take? Well, right now I'm, I'm taking 10, uh, 10 squirts per day, which would be 135, uh, milligrams, 
or milliliters. Wonderful. That's that's perfect. So I'm, that's I'm perfect. taking uh, I'm taking five in the morning and I'm taking five in the evening. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, thank you for uh, for sharing your story with us, and we'll definitely keep in touch with you. I know you just ordered a whole bunch of them, huh? so uh, they're yeah. on their way. And uh, you can't go wrong. And like I said, I, I'm going to show this interview to my father because uh, I, I want him to to take it and experience the great benefits from it. But he's skeptical, like most people are, and I understand that. But this works, folks. It really does. And uh, I get people contact me all the time to to sell things and take things, but I personally take this product. I know it works and, and from everything, I mean, blood work, cancer and arthritis and everything. It's a great, it's great. It's wonderful. So, well, Jack, thank you very much for taking the time out today to share with us and uh, everybody. You're welcome, this Paul, uh, video. Yeah, yeah, if anybody has any, uh, any joint pain, I'd definitely recommend them to give it a try because, uh, you know, I've, I've tried a lot of different things. I've tried a lot of exercises, and this is the this is the only thing that's worked on my knees anyway. And I'm hoping it'll work on my other problems. So I appreciate you, Paul. Okay. Well, thank you. Have thank a you. nice day. Yeah, everybody. The link is below the video if you want to order this, and uh, and uh, you can see that there. Thank you.